<laughs> well, thanks for the right noises. This would be always a big Hi, I'm Ken. Welcome to Mark and Cars. This is my Porsche GT4. Series GT4 comes with a 3.8 litre six cylinder motor that comes with the 911 Carrera S of the same era. Puts out about 283 kilowatts and 420 newton meters, and weighing under 1340 kilos means it does a 0 to 100 time in about 4.2 seconds, topping out at about 295 k's an hour. The car enjoys a lot of modifications compared to a standard Cayman, such as a 30mm ride height and all the front suspension and brakes from the GT3 of the same era, as well as the benefits of the limited slip differential and Porsche torque vectoring and active suspension management from the same GT3. This all adds up to a very lively and engaging drive. Ken, why the GT4? Why did you buy this car? Uh, because one of the yeah, point is money and mission. Yep, sure. And GT3, they are uh, recently may had the uh, money and mission. Yes. But uh, you know, it's very expensive. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's very powerful and quick. Yeah, probably uh, my technique and skill. Yes. Yeah. Uh, cannot cope with the yeah, uh, performance of GT3. <laughs> sure, so you thought this might be a good step, stepping stone to learn to drive That's better right. to get into the GT3, maybe at some point in the future. That's right. Oh That's yeah, right. good to see and, the, yeah, and actually it's very um, bargain for this car. Sure. Yeah, for instance, the suspension is came from GT3. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the engine is came from uh, Carrera S. Yes, okay. I do believe that this mm. car model in particular mm. um, is really good value for money for the technology that the car mm. comes with mm. when you compare it to the G other GT products that For Porsche makes. Um, so the car, like you've pointed out, comes with a, only in a manual transmission. Yes. And right. it is relatively stripped out. It's got the solid one-piece carbon bucket seats. Yeah. Which I can tell you from experience are somewhat of a challenge to get into mm. and out of. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> one of the features I've noticed whilst we've been driving around is with the uh, when the sport button's pressed, it does an automatic throttle blip on the downshifts. Yes, that's good for also for my plus of me. Sure. Yeah. The sure. driver. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm still running feet on the toe. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. These guys are yeah, doing much better than the video. Yeah, sure, sure. So it makes you look pretty good, do you think? Correct. Yeah, I, okay. I'm, I'm running from the car. <laughs> How have you found the um, using it? Do you use it as a daily at all? Do you ever use it just as like a regular daily drive car? Uh, for this car? Yes. Uh, no, just for weekend. Oh, okay, yeah, yes. Especially for track day yes. and some club event. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. You may have noticed we've swapped seats. Um, so I'm going to uh, take the car for a drive, but 
Ken lives with the car every day, so there's a lot of features here that me as a first time person getting in, I'll just talk about that you may be interested in hearing. Um, first thing I noticed, the key is closest to the door, like all Porsches traditionally have been, and the park brake is right next to the door as well, which is the same as in my 356. Yeah, so it's not good for spin town. Okay. No handbrake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Not a drifter. The, um, the steering wheel is uh, quite a small size, very similar to the GT3 size steering wheel, but yeah. without, it's not busy. It's 36 centimeter. Okay. It's lower than the, uh, uh, smaller than the uh, other came. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's covered in Alcantara. Um, everything falls easily to hand, the indicators, wipers, etc. The um, light switch is where you expect it. The dash is um, has a central taco like all Porsches do. We've got a, uh, and the right hand gauge looks like a, it's a LCD screen, so that is probably programmable as to what you see on any right. display. Uh, the center of the console has a multi-entertainment system with GPS, etc., plus all the phone features and all those sorts of things, I imagine. And below that, we've got uh, air conditioning system or temperature management. Um, yeah, so all that looks pretty straightforward. We've got the magic buttons below the gear shifter there. Mm -hmm. uh, sport, exhaust, on off. There's a suspension button here. Is that a lift, is it, or is it just a, uh, no, to change that firmness? Make it much stiffer. Sure. Yeah, yep. for track use. I understand. Yeah, but still it's variable. Yep, okay. Yeah, okay. Just uh, for your viewers out there. Correct. Doesn't need it. Okay, <laughs> the car's quite <laughs> stiff. Um, and yeah. then we've got the ESC off and the ESC and traction control off buttons. Um, it's a six-speed manual gearbox. The reverse is um, over to the left and up. Mm -hmm. uh, the seat is very supportive, and I'm not a very big person. And whilst Ken's quite a bit taller than me, I don't think he's um, physically that much bigger than me around the chest and waist. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that you wouldn't want to be much heavier than about 80 kilos to fit in this seat, because I think it'd get quite uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, as for vision out the back, that extra wing that sits above the standard wing that's attached to the body that pretty much obscures I reckon 30% of your rear vision so it's all you see out the back of your car which isn't a problem on the track maybe mildly problematic while you're out driving the car on the street yeah so that's pretty much the interior in a nutshell I mentioned earlier the quality of finish all the stitching is beautiful right throughout the car it's all leather everything you touch is quality every button is nice the actuation of every button feels yeah, like a Porsche should typically modern Porsche yes yeah, that's right. okay let's take this car for a drive just so you know the clutch weighs a ton you would not want to be daily driving this in heavy traffic yeah we need the exercise wait there we go oh, park brake clutch has got a pretty good bite spot about a maybe a quarter of the way up it's heavy, but easy. This is my first time in a GT Ford, so forgive me if my gear shifts are not on point. Well, you already yeah, got a lot of <laughs> experience with your yeah, 36 foot. <laughs> yeah, which I'm sure, yeah. Oh, yep, there's a heel and toe that I didn't have to do. Uh, interestingly, the pedals hang from the top instead of hinge from the bottom, which a lot of the earlier Porsches do. And I actually think that when the pedals hinge from the bottom, they're easier to heel and toe anyway.
gear shifting is absolutely beautiful, buttery smooth. Everybody talks about how good Porsche gear shifting is and this one doesn't let you down. This auto blip on the downshift is quite interesting to get used to yeah. because I'm thinking I'm supposed to be doing it and it's not, you know, I don't have yeah, to. Yeah, it's very good for show off your girlfriend. <laughs> I've never met a girl that appreciates a heel and toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I think. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a pretty special car, yeah, and yeah. it's a much more engaging car than the turbo to drive. Yeah, that's right. So um, we've had to move the camera because of the heat. It's actually not that hot a day here, but there's a lot of uh, sun coming in the um, front windscreen because it's actually a bit of a glass house. This car. Yeah, overheated. <laughs> Brakes are um, very powerful in the car. Yeah, it's larger than the standard camera. Yeah, but it's probably got the GT3 brakes on it if it's got all the GT3 uh, front suspension. Yeah, but most of the GT3 owner adapt to the carbon ceramic. Ah, okay. Yeah, this, is, this doesn't have a carbon ceramic. Yeah, yeah sure. For uh, letting me have a drive of your car, really appreciate it. Yeah, for yeah. Uh, anyone that's interested in Ken's turbo, and it's in the link below in the video that we did last time with him, and it's actually quite entertaining because it was Ken's first time to drive an air cooled car, <laughs> and he uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, judging from his uh, reactions. If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to the channel, I really appreciate it. All comments get read and answered, so yeah, if you've got anything to say about the experience or the video, please give me the feedback, I'm always interested. Thanks for watching, Mark and Cars. Thank you for watching.